Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Johnny, and this is my next. Eh, this is my next Let's Play, which is Pokemon Yellow version. This is my very first Pokemon game I ever played as a kid, and I'm so happy to be playing it. And it has been like over a week since the last time I have made a video or commentated, because I was getting over this like wicked, like bad throat thingy. And it was not good at all. I did not enjoy that. Anyways, we're greeted by Pikachu, which is a Pokemon. And I need to make a new game. Yeah. Uh, right here we got Professor Oak, and he's like, Hey man, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yeah, what's up? And yeah, he's showing us that's a, that's a Pokemon. And they're like monsters and stuff. And some people use them to fight, and others use them as pets. But he's like a professor, and he studies them. What a nerd. Anyways, this is us. Um, yeah. Random pause. Uh, we're gonna name ourselves Johnny here. Cause that's my name. And I'm cool. Right, so your name is Johnny. The heck it is. And then we got this jerk, which is his grandson. And apparently we've been rivals since we were babies. Not like how John's an option down there. It's my name. But who cares about that? And um, some people like to call him Poop Cat or Deodorant Fart. We're calling him Jimmy. Or Jimmy. Jimmy! I don't know why. That's right. Why doesn't he remember his own grandson's name? That still doesn't make sense to me. But anywho. Now we're entering the world of Pokemon, and we're never going to see the sprite ever again. Because he's going to like shrink us into the new world. Wah! And yeah. Anyways, this is the room, and there's a there's a tree over there, and there's a bed, and there's, there's just stuff going on, and it's cool. That's your mom. Your mom's all like, alright, boys have to leave, blah, blah, blah. It said it on the TV. Professor Oak is right next door. He's looking for you. Uh-oh. He's looking for me. Anyways, going outside here. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm raising Pokemon, too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, this guy's like, Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via the PC. So now, apparently, they're ripping off Poke They're ripping off Digimon. And he's not being stupid here, okay? I'm doing this commentary not while I'm playing the game. I'm actually playing it, or I'm actually recording this after I played the game. And so, the commentary is going to be a little bit different. Meaning, there aren't going to be moments where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I fell off the pit! Or whatever and junk like that because there aren't any pits in this game it's an RPG burp I've yet to play an RPG in my videos yet so I decided this one was a good one because I've been playing it ever since I was like eh, five years old I think and anyways uh, first Pokemon battle ever apparently Pokemon are in the tall grass and I wasn't telling people that because I was talking and this is a Pikachu and Professor Oak uses his only Pokeball to catch it Yeah, what, what if he didn't have that Pokeball? Then we would die. Because that Pikachu would attack us, and we'd be completely defenseless. Anyways, so he's telling you how, like, every time you walk in the grass, there's bound to be Pokemon, unless you have repels. But he doesn't say that. No one says that, actually. Blarg. Anyways, he's taken back to our lab, and who knows why. There's all these scientists and stuff, and there's some soda machines, not really. And Jimmy's like, Grams, I'm fed up with waiting! Shut up, Jimmy. No one cares what you think. I said for you to shut up a while ago, but you're still on talking. Anyway, so he's like, hey, go over to that table and pick up that orb thingy. Because they'll give you an Aeon in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so we're getting the one on the table, and he's gonna give his grandson one later. But Jimmy doesn't like that, so he brah, kicks us in the face. And now we're in the corner, and he steals our Pokemon. Which is not stinking cool. Do not take my Pokemon, Jimmy. That's not cool, alright? Don't take him. And yeah, he was he was gonna give us one he was gonna give well now, since Jimmy took that one, we get this one. Which is the Pokemon we caught he caught earlier, like three seconds ago. Which makes me a little bit confused, okay? Hey, um I just rescued you from getting attacked by this monster. You can go and have it. And we're going to name it Yellow because I'm unoriginal and I'm playing Pokemon Yellow version. And I'm thinking, why not name it Yellow? 
Because I'm lame and unoriginal. Anyways, just now that we got a Pokemon and junk, let's just let's just get out of here. I mean, there's no point. Oh no, stinking Jimmy wants to Pokemon battle. He's ticked off apparently. And this is the first Pokemon battle of the game. You can win or lose this battle. It really doesn't matter. I prefer to win it though, because you get instantly to level six, or your Pokemon gets to level six, I should say. Anyways, um, Thundershock is your attacking move. He uses an attack which lowers our defense, but who really cares? Because I'm going to just keep on attacking. And we get a critical hit. And he gets paralyzed. Making him really slow and probably unable to attack sometimes. And he gets a critical hit. What are the chances? Like, seriously? That doesn't happen every time. And he's fully paralyzed again. I think he got paralyzed twice. I don't know. Yep, and we knock out that sink and Eevee. And we get to level 6! And that's cool. I need to stop, like, singing in this mic. I do not have a singing voice while commentating. And we learn a useless move. How awesome. Anyways, we defeat Jimmy. And Jimmy's like, what? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! And we get some money. And he's like, okay, my Poke I'm gonna train my Pokemon and make it super strong, and it's gonna kick your butt, Johnny. And he runs away, smell saying, smell you later. Professor Oak's like, what the crap? Your giant Pokemon thing just... It's like walking around like a human. What the crud? But yeah, this is um the game where your Pikachu actually walks with you, which is a pretty cool thing, I thought, as a kid. Um, you can also talk to it, but he doesn't feel like talking. And that sucks. Walking right out here, um... Yeah, now we get to walk with our Pikachu, and he's all like, yeah, I'm walking Sprite. Uh... Our arrival told us to come to see his sister and he'd give us a thing, but I guess he doesn't have that. And I'm stupid. Anyhow. Uh, if your Pokemon get tired, if your Pikachu gets tired, you can just talk to your mom and she'll heal you everybody up. She's kind of like a cleric, I guess. Or a nurse, I don't know. Yeah. And, yeah, your Pokemon's all cool and stuff, and, yeah, we're good to go. Um, I wasn't really paying attention on the story of this game. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to eh, you're supposed to go to the next town over. And I got into Pokemon Battle. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to Viridian City and talk to the Pokemart man. But now we're seeing a different Pokemon, which is Ratatata. Um, I'm not gonna explain everything about the game, like types, uh, stab, and like uh, all this just stuff. If you want a Pokemon walkthrough, uh, there's tons of them out there. I'm just really playing the game and talking about it. But if this game looks interesting to you and you'd like to know a little bit more about it, just tell me in the comments. I mean, whatever. And we get in another battle. This is how I'm going to um, handle the battles in this um, game. I'm not going to show all of them. I just showed this one for no really good reason. But I'm not going to show all of them uh, because that's kind of a pain for you guys to watch. So I'm kind of just... I'm going to cut them out ahead of time. That's kind of why I did this Let's Play pre-recorded. So you guys won't have to watch all that crap. But yeah. From now on, there will be no more cuts. Also, I forgot to talk. If you talk to this guy, he's like, Hey, I work at the Pokemart. Uh, it's a convenience shop where you can buy stuff. And he gives you a sample, which is a potion for free. Yeah! <clears throat> but yep. Just, I, I've played this game for so long. I mean, I've memorized almost everything about it. Um, I was, I was really, like, flus <laughs> frustrated. Confoozled. I was really confused, or like having. Ah, talk! I couldn't decide on whether to do the remakes, which are Pokemon. Uh. Fire Red and Leaf Green, or the originals, which is Red and Blue. But I just did Yellow, because this is the game I had. And yeah, this dude gives us Professor Oak stuff. We gotta go return that. And these little hill things, I don't understand them. You, you can't go up them, you can only fall down them. So they, mu they must be like huge cliffs or something. I don't know. They never made sense to me as a kid, either. They're kind of weird like that. I think I hit my mic, whatever. I mean, my throat is still kind of, like, messed up. I can't really talk as well as I could. That's why I've kind of been stumbling with my words. I don't think you can stumble words, but okay. And yeah, we're getting ready to, uh, stink and return Professor Oak's crap. And he's like, oh, Johnny, how's my old Pokemon? Yeah, your Pokemon you've had for, like, li like literally five minutes. And he's like, oh, you have something for me? And we deliver the Oak's parcel. 
Oh, these are the custom Pokeballs I ordered. Thanks, Johnny. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. And Jamie's like, Gramps! Gramps, my Pokemon are getting strong! Check it out! And he starts, like, flexing his Pokemon's mad guns. It's like, yeah, I'm so strong. Ugh. Crazy Pokemon. And he's like, oh, these things are Pokedex. Uh, the Pokedex is, it's the main storyline of this game. Uh, pretty much you're a trainer and a Pokemon, and your goal is to catch Pokemon, train them to get stronger, and then battle the... battle enough good trainers and get your eight gym badges to become the Pokemon Master. And challenge on the Elite Four, I forgot that part. But yeah. Me knowing this, I really thought we just, like, caught Pokemon all day. I didn't even know, like, you fought gym leaders until, like, I actually fought one and realized what the game was. I thought it was just, like, a safari game <laughs> when I was little. And Jimmy's, like, running away because he has to be a Pokemon Master, but I'm going to beat him first. Hopefully. Yeah. Anyways, um, now we can get the map, I believe. Mm, yes, we can. And yet we get our map, which, um... I'm going to show real quick so we can see where we're going. How the inventory works in this game, everything is the items screen. It's like that. Yeah, and you can use it. Uh, this is pretty much the whole game. Uh, there's a bunch of cities and stuff and Pokemon to explore. I mean, Pokemon to explore. There's a bunch of stuff to see. But we'll have to s check all that crap out in the next episode. How many times have I said crap? I mean, seriously? But anywho, next time on Pokemon Yellow, we're going to continue with the game and do some more junk. And I'm going to save. Alright, see you guys later.